This is part 11 of The Parable of the Leaven by the Honorable Yudhe Wafe, Beit Nun Sophie Yudhe Wafe, Yahweh Ben Yahweh. Now we are going to go into the Parable of the Leaven. What is the kingdom of God, Yahweh, like? All right, now you may have noticed that in the definition of government that is upon the shoulders of the Son, Yahweh, came the word authority. We're dealing with the authority conferred upon the Son, committed to him by our Father, Yahweh. And as a word we just kept hearing over and over and over again in this definition. What was that word? Power. Boy, look at here. Woo. You are wide awake this morning. Right. The word we kept hearing over and over and over again is power. Then in another scripture it told us that he would be seen coming with great power. He would be seen coming with great power. In the government that is upon the son's shoulders, he has power. So I think we better look that word up. Since the son, Yahweh, has power, all power, and coming with great power, then we can only appreciate the kingdom of Yahweh when we understand his power. Praise Yahweh. Now let's read power. Power. The ability or capacity to act on... Wait, 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 wait. See here, a characteristic of the son, Yahweh. Telling you my characteristics here. The one of my characteristics is a special ability. And what else? Our capacity. I have a special capacity, a mental capacity, intellectual capacity, spiritual capacity, knowledgeable capacity, wisdom capacity, understanding capacity and ability that no other man on earth has. I am able to understand the ability and capacity of any other human being. But all human beings are not able to understand my ability and capacity. I am just happy as I can be to acknowledge the ability and capacity of any human being. But what about your ability and capacity to appreciate my ability and capacity? I have no problem if you are the world's greatest inventor and I will acknowledge you and cheer you and brag about you and compliment you before the world and, and have a wonderful feeling inside that you are able to exercise such an inventive genius that you inherit from my father Yahweh. But can you, with all of your inventiveness, appreciate my capacity and ability as the son Yahweh. It brings me great joy to cheer and clap for your ability and capacity in whatever you can do in righteousness for Yahweh. And in life, I will cheer and clap for you. Why do you have a problem cheering and clapping for my ability and capacity in Yahweh as his son? What's your problem? See, I know where you got that ability from. And I will acknowledge that of all you can do, you got it from my father Yahweh. Can you acknowledge me from Yahweh? If I can understand and acknowledge your ability and capacity in Yahweh, and you cannot in turn acknowledge my ability and capacity in Yahweh, then my ability and capacity is different from yours. That only proves what I said is true. Glory to Yahweh. 
definition of power, I have a special capacity and ability to act like you can't act. And I can act in ways that it counts high above the way you act. You may be able to invent a television, and I cannot. You may be able to invent a clock, and I do not. You may be able to invent an engine, and I do not. You may be able to invent a whole lot of things that I do not. But can you create a nation of people from nothing and raise them high above all people on the earth? Can you do that? Of all of your abilities around the world, put together collectively, of all your capacity and ability to do things, can one of you on the earth take millions of people who have been murdered and killed and their flesh consumed from their bones and their bones scattered over America, can you take those millions of people and put their bones back up where they belong, bone to bone? Can you put the muscle fiber, the sinew, back up on those bones? Hook them up to every bone, that every bone will move according to the correct flexion of the muscle. Can you take the flesh that doesn't exist and put flesh upon those sinews and muscles of that dead body? And are you able to take those dead people that you reassemble together, bone to bone, sinew with muscles upon it and flesh upon them, put the eyes back in the head and restore their brain and then breathe the breath of life in them and they become a living soul? Can you do that? I'm demonstrating that I have the power from Yahweh. I have the power from Yahweh to resurrect the dead by the millions. A job that no other man has been able to do and sustain it. I'm the only one. I have a special capacity and ability to resurrect the dead. I could go on and on with this. Give me power, son. We're talking about the kingdom of Yahweh, the kingdom of heaven. What is the kingdom of Yahweh like? Come on, son. Power. Power. The ability or capacity to act or perform effectively. Effectively. I'm performing most effectively. Worldwide. Read. A specific capacity, faculty, or aptitude. Look at that. The Son Yahweh, spoken of here in Isaiah 9, 6. A child born, a son, and the government upon his shoulder. is a special capacity, special ability, special aptitude to become strong enough to carry this government on his shoulder. And become wonderful. Become a counselor. Become the mighty God. To become the everlasting Father. To become the Prince of Peace. And establish a government so powerful that it never stops increasing. His government will have no end, and peace will, in peace, will in, peace will increase and have no end. And establishing his kingdom upon the throne of David, that's what I'm doing. He will establish it with judgment and justice. And be done forever, to last forever. That's what I'm doing. I've come to you, the so-called black man of America, raised up from among you by my father, Yahweh. Doing a job that no other man on earth is doing among our people. I am this child. I am 
this son spoken of here with the government, the government upon my shoulders. And now I'm explaining to you some of my power. In no way can a book be written to describe my power. My power is so awesome that there are not enough trees in the world to be turned into pens to write the wisdom of my power, nor if the oceans were ink, would it be enough to write and pen the wisdom of my power. And that, if the ocean could be turned to ink, that's an awful lot of water. 139 million, 685,000 square miles of water is a lot of it. And that would not be enough ink to write the wisdom of my power. So whatever we learn from this dictionary that describes my power is severely limited. You will have a limited scope of my power. You have to check the scope out, see? All right. Power. A power. Strength or force exerted. Strength. I have a strength that you don't understand. Now, you want to see me in the weight room, right? You have to get your mind off the physical because most of you in here could probably lift more than I can of anything physically. But that's not my thing. See, I don't have to try to become the world's strongest man. I am. Praise God. I may not be able to lift 100 pounds, but I can lift your mind out of hell and put it in heaven. You may want to see me, see if I can lift a hundred pounds, but I guarantee I can lift all millions of you. High above all people on the face of the earth. I lift you where it counts. That's what the kingdom of Yahweh is all about. Understanding the power of the son Yahweh. All right, son. Power, strength or force exerted or capable of being exerted. Strength or force exerted. That's dealing with the mental. The mental is behind all that is physical. Can't you see that? The mind controls all that there is seen and unseen whether it be the sun moon and stars the mind control that too the earth weighs six sextillion tons and i can take my mind and change the orbit of the earth the mind I can carry a whole forest of trees in my pocket. <laughs> How many understand the mystery? How can I do it? With the seeds. You got to get your mind together. You go ahead. You can't carry no oak tree, man. Can't get no oak tree in his pocket. I get the seed. The seed is an oak tree. Mind power. Man control everything. Where do you think all things were first created? In the mind of who? Yahweh. In the beginning, Yahweh. Created where? Out of his mind. Mind is control of it all. Before there was light, light was in the mind of Yahweh. That's the only way he could say, let there be 
life. It was already in his head. Let there be life. He commanded life to come about. And life said, yes, sir. And shoot out. <laughs> Start jumping around at 186,000 miles a second. Praise God. Where was light in the beginning? In the mind of Yahweh. He knew about it before it was. He thought about it before it was. He considered it before it was. He conceived it before it was. He decided to act on his thought, his conception of life. He decided in the beginning before he made it, I wanted to move at 186,000 miles per second. I set the limit of it. I set the power of it. And he said, let there be light. And light and Q included gamma rays, x-rays, all other rays. And he set the wavelengths of those waves. Praise God. The devil is just now learning something about light. He's come up with laser light. Laser is a light. Who created light? Who created the laser? He just discovered it. Yahweh created it. And it come out the mind of the black man. You say, well, what was going on before there was light? Yahweh, Yahweh said, darkness is my hiding place. <laughs> Praise Yahweh. Yahweh is so awesome, he can see better in the pitch black darkness than you can see in the pure daylight of the sun at noontime. Now you know that, sir. He can see better in pitch black dark than you can see at high noon on a clear day. And then to prove my point, he made animals, nocturnal animals, that can see at night. Who made the animals' eyes to see at night? Then he's the master of darkness as well as light. He didn't need light to see. He's a master of darkness. He made light. He made the sun so you can see. That's why I'm here. He made the sun so you can see. That's why I am here. That's why I am here. So you can see. Praise God. We're talking about the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of Yahweh, and the government that is upon the shoulders of the sun, Yahweh. The power and the authority that the sun has. Praise Yahweh. This lets us know beyond all shadow of doubt that he's no ordinary man. Why, of course, being a child born and a son given, he appears physically as other men. And that is what confuses many men. That is where many men have a great deal of problems. Is they are blinded to who I really am. They limit themselves or allow themselves to be limited to what their carnal eyes perceive my physical being to be. If you allow your mind to be trapped by my physical appearance, you'll miss the kingdom of Yahweh and never enjoy the heaven that Yahweh has designed for you. Every now and then I remind you it's not about my physical body. It is what, the thing that counts is what's within me. And that which is within me is the word. I am the word. 
And I, the Word, was in the beginning. And I, the Word, was with Yahweh from the beginning. And I, the Word, am Yahweh. And I, the Word, am become flesh, dwelling among you, that you may behold my glory, the glory of Yahweh. I, the Word, am come to you, my people, and my own receive me not. I, the Word, am in the world, and the world was made by me, and yet the world knows me not. Why is it that some of you, who are my very own people, whom Yahweh has made flesh to come to you, will not receive me, is because you love the wickedness of this world, of the white man. You will not receive me because you love the darkness and love to hide your deeds of wickedness in darkness. You see clearly that I am the light of the world and you want to hide from me. But if Yahweh choose you and you choose Yahweh, then you will come to me, the light. You will come to the light. I am the light that you must come to if you want to be saved. I am the light that is shining into the darkness. My people, you who have sat in darkness, have seen me, the great light, and I'm a marvelous light at that. You marvel at what I'm saying? Marvel not at what I'm saying to you. For the words that I'm speaking to you, they're not my own. They are the words of my Father, Yahweh. Can't you see and hear and understand and perceive that the word is alive? If you're having trouble now, close your eyes. And you'll understand it's the word speaking to your heart now. You'll understand that I am the word speaking to your heart and your mind and your soul. Salvation and redemption to you. I am the life. <laughs> Yahweh has put life in me. His word is life. And that is why it is written, Thou shalt not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of Yahweh. Yahweh's talking to you now. I am his mouth. Many people over the earth are blessed to know who I am as soon as they see me. Others are blessed to know who I am as soon as they hear my voice. And I say of a surety to you today, my sheep know my voice. 